Happy New Year, everybody. So in 2023, I made 53% using mainly my monthly passive income strategy. And during the same period, S&P 500 only made 26%. So in this video, I want to share a couple of tips and insights with you on what I learned in 2023 and what I expect in 2024. My goal is to achieve a long-term average of 30% return a year using my long-term investing strategy and also my monthly passive income strategy. When it comes to investing, you need two strategies. One is for long-term investing, and as you get closer to retirement, you'll also need to generate monthly passive income to live off on. So that's why when I quit my full-time job two years ago, I focus all of my energy in developing my second strategy, which is the monthly passive income strategy. I'm very happy that it yield such positive results in the first year. This allows me to grow my portfolio to 800,000 in total allocated to monthly passive income. And next year, my plan is to rebalance. So I allocate more money back into long-term investing as well. So tip number one, monthly passive income is great, but it is just as important to avoid certain bearish months than to be very aggressive when the market is high. Now for monthly passive income strategy, you are able to generate a more predictable return in a bullish sideways or even a slightly bearish market. And in 2023, it was quite volatile. There are certain really bearish months that I could have avoided, which can further improve my profits. So in 2024, I'm going to focus on using the monthly passive income strategies on the best months and sideways months, and that will further reduce my losses and boost my profits up. So if you want to learn more about my strategy, you can click on the link below right here and attend the free webinar how to retire with 300,000 and get 30% return. Tip number two, long-term investing can be volatile. So during the top, you should deleverage and during the dip, you can be a little bit more aggressive. So in investing accelerator, I do forecasts on what the S&P 500 would do a couple months in advance. So in November and December, we took advantage of the Santa rally and we made significant gains during that time and we took profit right before the rally ended. And this allow us to deleverage, have a good Christmas, and then now in January, the market is going down and we're able to take advantage and buy stocks at a discounted price. So for example, during the January dip, I bought Apple after a 9% drop from the top. And this is a great blue chip company at a discounted price. Tip number three, hedging is important. Now, when it comes to investing, you wouldn't be right 100% of the time. In Investing Accelerator, we try to be right 90 to 95% of the time, and we only invest when we are over 95% confident in a certain stock. For example, buying Apple when it is at a discount. But you would still want to hedge in case anything bad happens. If you hedge successfully, you can reduce your losses by 30% and up to 50% with a very small amount of capital used. So hedging is an important skill to learn as the market is becoming more and more volatile over the years. Tip number four, when it comes to getting out of the bear market, you'll find that the blue chip stocks actually outperform the small cap stocks. So in Investing Accelerator, we mainly focus on investing in discounted blue chip companies and we buy and hold them over time or we use options to increase our profits or we use our monthly passive income strategy to create a steady return out of it. But what you will find is that even though a lot of people are advocating for small caps, penny stocks or whatnot, they don't necessarily outperform blue chip stocks during the bear market. And when it comes to investing, it's about making the least amount of mistakes possible. And you want to stick with blue chip stocks for majority of your portfolio. This is very true in 2023, where the Magnificent 7 stocks, Apple, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, outperformed the rest of the S&P 500 
and also outperformed majority of the small cap and mid cap stocks as well. So it was a good idea that we stick to these companies when they're at a discounted price and we exited when they were at a high. So if you're interested in learning more about investing this year, then you can sign up for the free webinar below. The link should be here or here on how to retire with 300,000 and make 30% return a year. So you'll learn about my chart on how I identify discounted opportunities for blue chip stocks. And during the webinar, I also go through multiple examples on how to analyze stocks. So it'll be very valuable as well. And I also share exactly how much money you need to invest to reach your retirement goal. And it is less than you think. Just click on the button below and sign up and I'll send you an email reminder afterwards as well. So if you're looking to speed up your retirement, reach your retirement goal with a monthly passive income strategy and learn how to master options, then this webinar is perfect for you. So I'll see you in the webinar.